James Molinas. This wine is next from the producer Col de Orcia called Olmaya Cabernet Sauvignon from Santantimo DOC 2015 Vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this beautiful, exquisite Italian Cabernet Sauvignon. So, you know, it was interesting when I was tasting this wine, and it's exquisite, first of all, very nicely done, refined, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon wine, and 14.5% ABV. Let me show you the label up close first. And uh, so I think it's a, a really nice, beautiful um, packaging program here. It was nice to be on a Zoom chat, uh, Zoom presentation with Count Francesco Maroni Cinsano. This is his family's winery. And to you know, be tasting these wines, I think, is a really nice proposition, especially in this continuation of COVID, um, you know, lockdown era, to be tasting these wines. Because, you know, I used to go to a lot of events. A lot of uh, wine journalists have been going to a lot of events, and that's where your access point is to taste a lot of beautiful wines. And so, to have this opportunity was really a fantastic, wonderful experience, and I'm very grateful for it. This is coming from Santantimo DOC, but I've not tasted every single DOC wine, and this is one of them. So it's my first opportunity to be tasting this wine and I think it's a really exquisite beautiful wine at $59.99 suggested retail price point there's two things to put in context here the $59.99 retail price point is a suggested retail price point is a very good price point considering the quality of the wine now what's important about that are two things the age 2015 vintage so the winery has done the aging for me that's a really nice step the next step on this wine is I compare this and contrast that with say a Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon well, it's not apples to apples necessarily, it's still Cabernet Sauvignon. And I did a study last year pre-COVID, uh, pre-lockdown rather, and uh, it showed that, you know, I looked at probably four or five dozen producers and I looked at, you know, the entire allotments of Cabernet Sauvignon they were producing. So I did an average of these, uh, you know, four or five dozen producers, all their Cabernet Sauvignons, and the average bottle price point was actually $109.25. So Napa Valley is pretty expensive. Not all Napa Valley is, you know, astronomically expensive, but there's a, you know, high price point for many a Cabernet Sauvignon. So I'm not gonna, you know, bring down one region to bring up another, but it's also just to remind you that, you know, there's other opportunities to be tasting finely made Cabernet Sauvignon, and this is one of them. So let's talk about the uh, vinification on this wine. Now the vinification on this wine, it's manually harvested, rigorous selection of the fruit itself in the vineyard, as well as the cellar. Now the grapes are fermented for 20 days in 50 hectoliter stainless steel vats at a controlled temperature. And the aging on this wine is 18 months in new French oak barrique, as well as a small portion to American barrels, followed by a further eight months of refinement in bottle. And next I'm gonna talk about the uh, scent characterization, the, the nose, and of course the palate characterization. Beautifully rich nose of uh, blackberry, black cherry, thyme, wood pile, as well as freshly ground herbs. And next, the palate characterization. Palette of rich, Blackberry notes, cassis notes, tarragon, and fresh bay leaf. This wine is 94 points out of 100 points. So down below, more information on the producer will be listed in the description. Additionally, you can subscribe to this channel. And if you've already done so, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And give a like to this video. And uh, we can have a conversation either down below in the questions and comments section, or you can also do that on my social medias of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, WordPress. Thank you for your support. I will see you in the next video. Grazie and salute to you.